Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Anjit Rawat, your online instructor. Recently, I added one playlist based on Cisco Certified Network Associate. I am talking about the CCNA routing and switching. And in this playlist, I have already uploaded, I think, three different classes. And these classes are fully, fully based on basic of networking. If we talk about the previous class, so in last class, we discussed about uh, how to calculate the usable IP address with the help of subnetting and how we can get uh, uh, the subnet by using the CIDR calculation as well. So I hope you guys are able to understand and you are able to calculate the usable IP address from any address space from any CIDR value. This is another class or th this is another chapter that I am going to add in our same playlist. And in this chapter, I am going to guide you about one of important topic, which is one of important topic related to the networking. Yes, I am talking about the OSI model and OSI model layers. Each and every interviewer, not only in case of interview, if you are planning to uh, become a certified of Cisco Certified Network Associate, you want to become a CCNA certified. So definitely one or two questions are definitely you will get from the uh, OSI model. So this is day one to understand about the OSI model. We'll also discuss more about the actual usage and real time usage of OSI model in our day to day network activity. So let me move ourselves to the screen and guide you about the use cases and protocols that perform the work with these, with these layers. So I'm moving myself to the screen, but before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step. So I'm just going to move ourselves to the screen and let's talk about the agenda. So today's agenda about OSI model, right? As per the name suggests, the meaning of OSI model, you must need to know about the actual use cases of OSI model, right? The actual use cases of OSI model. So OSI model is basically considered as a open system interconnection, right? Which is considered as a open system interconnection. Try to understand about the usage of OSI model. So basically the OSI model is a kind of logical model and that contains seven different layers and uh, the OSI model is available in each and every vendor based devices. Let me help you to understand more about the importance of OSI model. So basically the OSI model introduced by IBM in year of 1979. Right. In 1979, IBM introduced the, the, the layers of our OSI model. But before that, if we don't have an OSI model, if we talk about the networking before 1990, 1979. If we talk about the networking in 1965 and uh, networking in case of 1970, that time, if you want to provide communication between resources, so it's mandatory both machines must be based on same vendor, right? If you are trying to communicate between each other and unfortunately one machine is based on IBM, another computers are based on another vendor and you are trying to communicate to each other, then you are not authorized to provide communication between different vendor based devices. You are authorized to ping, you are authorized to transfer data between each other if the both devices are belongs from same vendor or belongs to same vendor. So to break this barrier, to break this barrier, OSI model come into the picture and the first OSI model introduced by the IBM in year of 1979. But after three years means in 1981 means this method is mandatory for each and every vendor, right? The method of OSI model. Uh, each and every vendors must need to involve the OSI model in their devices, in their resources, network resources especially, right? And from 1981 to till date, we are still using the OSI model. So let's talk more about the actual use cases of OSI. So for, 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 for better understanding, what I'm going to do, let's take an example. This is machine which is responsible to send the data. This is sender machine and another I'm just going to add one machine which is considered as a receiver, okay? 
sender and receiver two different computers are available in the environment and let us talk about the use cases of OSI model. Seven different OSI models are involved right the first one is uh, application layer no it is a seven layer application then presentation then session layer after that uh, transport layer then network layer then data link layer and the last one is physical layer right uh, you can say that the physical layer is first layer of OSI model physical layer this is first one then data link layer second layer network third layer transport number fourth session layer number five presentation layer number six and application layer number seven seven different layers contained by the OSI model as it is in case of our uh, uh, what we can say that receiver side I am going to add the same application layer then presentation layer and after that again session layer then transport layer and then network layer data link layer and the last one is physical or you can say that first layer is physical layer. Let us talk about the use cases of each and every layer. The first and important part if anyone ask you question like uh, what is use of OSI model. So, in single word you can describe the OSI model can break the barrier between the communication of two vendor based devices simple. After the OSI model, once OSI model come into the picture, we are authorized to provide communication between different vendor based devices. One machine is available based on vendor uh, HCL, another machine which is based on IBM or another machine uh, like as Acer or Dell, we are applicable, we are authorized to provide communication between all the devices no matter these devices are belongs to different different vendor. Talk about and we are trying to transfer one data from one machine to another machine. This is our motto, right? We are trying to share data, file, folder, resources from one computer to another computer. So, in this case, let us talk about the use cases of our OSI model. The first and really important layer, not first, seventh layer because I need to add the numbers. This one is not seventh, this is our layer number one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this one is our 7th layer, right. So, talk about the usage of our first application layer. Each and every protocols that is responsible to transfer data from one computer to another computer, all the protocols are applicable and perform the task with the application layer. The responsibility of application layer, it will decide the method that we are going to use to transfer data between one machine to another machine, not only the data. If you are trying to transfer any kind of services from one computer to another computer, then again OSI, the, uh, the application layer of OSI model come into the picture, right. All the protocol like FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, right, these all protocols are applicable or these all protocols can perform the task over a application layer. As it is, let us talk about the presentation layer. So, uh, the usage of presentation layer, it is responsible to perform three important tasks. One is encryption, second one is decryption and the last one is compression. Encrypt the data while sending, decrypt data, the data once received and compress the data while traveling from uh, one location to another location through the wire or wireless. It is responsible to compress the size of data that your data easily, that your data can easily travel over a wireless network or wired network. Next, session layer as per the name suggests, it is responsible to create session between two 
devices, two network devices or two computer. Transport layer create packets of your packets of your data. For example, you are trying to send one data from one machine to another machine. The responsibility of transport layer it will break your packet, break your data in different different uh, small small packets to transfer to another computer. Next one is network layer, which is responsible to contain the information about all network devices which are involved in the infrastructure. Data link layer contain two important services. One is MAC. And another is LLC, logical link control. These two important uh, feature contained by our data link layer. And the use cases of MAC, media access control, you can also consider as a physical layer. LLC is a logical link control which is responsible to error detection and correction. It will automatically detect the error and correct it. The last one is physical layer which is provide the communication between system between network devices. It may be wired communication or wireless communication. In both the cases, our physical layer come into the picture. So guys, this is about the OSI model. We will discuss about, we will also compare the OSI model with TCPI model. Because the recently, uh, means to understand properly about the use cases of OSI model, uh, like as uh, we have another option to understand about the usage of these layers as a TCP IP. OSI model and TCP IP model both are uh, both are responsible to perform the same task, but the OSI model contains seven different layer and the TCP IP model contains five different layer only. We'll talk about we'll talk more about the OSI model and TCP IP model. We'll try to compare both types of layer, both types of model, but in upcoming session. I hope you guys are able to understand about the points that we discuss in this particular class. So, we will connect soon and discuss more about the OSI and TCP IP model. Do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. We will connect soon in next session. Take care. Bye-bye.